Hello everybody and welcome back to Munglo Bay. My name is of course Constantine and we have returned to day 47 to carry on with the adventure and in this one I think I'm gonna make my way back into the ocean uh, all the way back up here um, to try to see what this is all about because apparently we do have two missions over here that we gotta do. We definitely have to go all the way through these icy areas here now that we got the boat ready but at the same time i really, really want to get these missions done for all these look at that we got the um codes for them apparently yeah we got another one over here if i just remove that you can actually see it in the map ah there we go interesting so now all these things are showing up on the map so we know exactly what we're supposed to do with them including this one so let me just remove that spot and we are gonna have uh what is that i don't even i think that's the things yeah but never mind uh, we also have to remove this one because I think I'm going to start with this one so that we can chat with the character over here so that she can tell us about this stuff that we are trying to create. And then we're going to go to the other ones as well. So, let's see. We have to make some clam chow for the mayor, right? Uh, this one also sells for quite a bit though, so you know what? Oh, we can only make one. Dang it. I got to get my hands on more of these clams though. Mm. Yeah, I'm just going to make one then. I'm going to give it to the mayor. We most definitely have to spend a lot of time in that area there to try to get myself a lot of these client, uh, a lot of these giant clams for sure. The thing about them is that they're really not that easy to get. That's the biggest problem I'm having with them so far. But look at the way we're actually cooking this. So first of all, we gotta boil it. Then we gotta wash it up, and then we gotta fry it up. What? All right. Next up, let me grab the bacon chop the bacon up and fry the bacon up and lastly the potatoes come on buddy almost there there we go I'm also going to look and see if I have to do any other recipes. Uh, of course, this one's going to be for the mayor, but the mayor is not going to be available until later on in the day. So first of all, there we go. That is done. Awesome. We got the uh, clams for him. At the same time, I could also do this, but this is only but this is only going to give me 22. Hmm. I don't know if this is good enough. It's definitely not going to give me enough money here. And other ones are definitely much, much better because although we are spending some money to make them, we're getting quite a lot of coins in return. For example, this one is 180. We are spending 20 per each, which means in return we're getting 160, which is definitely much better than this one as well. Yeah, let's go with making a few of these then because we do have quite a bit of crabs. I mean, look at this. Are you kidding me? We can use 24 of them to cook. Wait, what? Are we seriously using 24 of them? Hmm, hold up, hold up. Let me try it again. So let me go in here. Let me grab two of these fishies. Two of these fishies. These, these, uh, two of these, I guess. And the rest of these ones. Aha, uh -huh, so we gotta use actually a lot of lobsters in order to do this dish. Well, that's fine because this is gonna make us a lot of money, so we most definitely have to do it. So let me just skip us. I'm gonna try to cook them all. And uh, then I'm gonna come back at it. All right, and ultimately, fry it up. There we go. I think I just made two batches of these, which means we're going to have uh, 24 sea salads for hopefully a lot of money in return. And other than this, I don't really want to make any other foods. Uh, of course, I do want to make some more of these clam chowders, but I really don't have what I need in order to make them. Let me see if I have some missions, though. Let's just check on these. So, fish kebab. We got to make one for her. We got two days to deliver to Marina. Yeah, we're definitely going to do that one then. So let me make a fish. Hold up, how many does she need it? Let me make sure I'm not. I'm gonna get it right. Uh, only one. Perfect. That's gonna give me a lot of money. So one fish kebab using. You know what? Let me make. Let me make more. Let me make two sets. Why not? While we're at it, I'm gonna hold on to one. What we're also gonna do if if I already started making money, why not just uh, keep on going with it, eh? Oh God, I messed it up. Dang it. Dang it. That's not going to sell very well then. But I'm going to hold on to it and give it to Marina because I'm pretty sure she's just going to take it as is. It doesn't really have to be perfect. 
The great thing about these requests is not is that they're not really requesting it to be like a three star or a two star one. All we gotta do is just do it. And let me just use these bugs, all of them, I guess, to make some more bait. There you go, buddy. We got quite a bit of it, and I'm also gonna use, actually, yeah, I'm just gonna want to replace this one instead. Uh, other than this, what other missions we got? So we got. Uh -huh, we got all these transmitters that we gotta activate. There's so many. Civic Restoration, Work for Marina, and Sung of the Sea. Yep, alright. So these are all the missions that we gotta do. So, with that done then, let me fill up the store with a lot of stuff. Let's start up with, of course, 10 of these. Can I maybe go with just one? On each one? I don't even know if this is gonna matter or not, but let's just do it. And the last one. There we go. I mean, look at this. This looks so much better as a shop like that. Yeah, it definitely looks much better displayed like that. I don't know if it's gonna matter or not, but anyway. Uh, so, nobody inside there. It is way too early right now outside. Let's just see what we gotta do. I think we gotta get to the marina and give her the food, but it is again very, very early in the morning right now. Uh, Her Haru. Spider crab. Um, I'm gonna grab the mission. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to grab those though. Acadian Redfish. I don't know if I have that one, but I am gonna grab it. And a request from Claude. Lobster Rolls. Do I have that? I think I do. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but until then, let me make my way back home then and try to grab more stuff. Is the shop open? Yes, it is, because I do want to purchase more fish. And at the same time, I want to see if these fellas are gonna have more stuff for me. What do you need? Uh, I don't want that upgrade though. Uh, my leg's gonna go to sleep. So nothing new from these fellas. Yeah. Alright, let me grab all the fishes from her though. Look at how many species she's got this time. Ooh, and this one is apparently very cheap. Wait, what? Why is he saying zero? Am I not paying anything from them? Is anything for free? Are you kidding me? Yeah, look at this. I'm not paying any. Oh, no, never mind. We are paying 35 so far. 40, 45, 55, and 60. All right, so all these fishes are gonna cost me 60, apparently. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's just grab them. Or there. All right, so if I'm gonna go here in the shop, for example, this one we have six, right? I do wanna make sure I am actually buying them. All right, let me grab more. I think this is gonna be the second batch. I just wanna spend 120. Clams on fishies today. Just because we haven't had time to fish anymore, I've spent a lot of time just looking for missions in the previous episodes. And I should have gotten myself quite a bit of fishies, but I didn't see this increase for some reason, so I'm not quite sure what's happening. So if I grab five of these... Yeah, look at this. This is not increasing. So what is happening? Am I even getting these fishies or not? I'm so confused right now. Huh. Yeah, I'm so confused. I also bought those flying fish, but I have I don't see anything in my inventory. Hmm. Uh, I hope the store here is not glitched because I definitely purchased some fishes, but I didn't see anything going in my inventory. Anyway, uh, let me just make my way on this side then and purchase some of this bait. Uh, replace this one with the high grade one, I guess. Let's go with 85. There we go, and let's grab a little bit more, just like that. All right, we should be good. Perfect. Uh, do I have to give anything to this fella? Thanks for the fish tacos. Yep, never mind. All right, in that case, let's see. Hopefully the marina has opened. It is close to 8 a.m. here. And in the meantime, let me also put more food in here. Uh, let's see, the sea salads. These are the ones that I want to put in. So there's one. And the final sea salad. Perfect. Hopefully that's going to sell very well. And lastly, this one is opening up at 8 a.m. Uh, oh, and there we go. We got the mayor. We can definitely give him what he requested. Hey, buddy, hold up. You definitely need the clam chow. <laughs> mayor Trembly, I fixed you some clam chowder. Enjoy. 
Hmm, it's strange. I still can't believe Mongolo Bay used to be famous for something as conventional as Chowder. Yeah, and the great irony is that if all the stories of Magical Wish were true, there wouldn't be a problem. People would flock from uh, Moss Creek every day, would be famous. So what has Tom Hall done to uh, revitalize the fishing trade? Oh, every trick in the book. Tax breaks and, div and dividends, vessel and tackle discounts, but nothing helped. All we did was accelerate the, spir the spiral. Sorry, this was all a bit of a downer. Next time, let's discuss something more cheerful, like the future. Mm, absolutely. In the meantime, I'll cook more. All right, we got rid of that, perfect. Uh, with that done then, let's see what we gotta do. We do have quite a bit of money here. I do wanna fix up more places. Not that one, because that's not gonna work. Unfortunately, I still cannot chat with her for some reason. Uh, but I do want to get to Marina because I think I have to give her some food, right? Uh. Hey, Mr. Fisher, is this about the post no the uh, Naughty's boat, the Norse board? Yes, it is. And your request is fish kebab. Oh, you're an absolute lifesaver. There we go. She gave me so much money. And let's also give her this thing. Perfect. And I think these are all the fishes that we gotta give her. Yep, we're good. Right. That has been done. Next up, I'm just gonna jump straight into the boat and keep on rolling. Keep on trying to find me more stuff. And in the meantime, let me also fix up more stuff. Such as, oh, never mind. I don't have enough for that. Uh, I do have enough for this. Here we go. More places fixed up. Love it. All right, I don't know if I'm gonna have... Oh, what was that? Oh, never mind. I think it's more money coming in because we got a lot of stuff in the shops. Uh, I was about to say that I don't know if I have enough money to upgrade more stuff, but apparently we just got quite a bit. So let me upgrade... Actually, this one is 3,000. Uh, let me upgrade these houses over here then. Oh, never mind. These are 3,000 as well. What about this one? Uh, 15. There we go. Perfect. 1,500. And with that done, we got more places looking good. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have anything to grab from the mayor, but I will try, I guess, and see if uh, we can get anything from him. Ooh, did I just finish this? We did. Fantastic. That's the third milestone. 15,000 invested around town. And your reward is a scooter. Handmade by Sarah. This very special vehicle is perfect for zipping around town. Are you serious right now? Wait, how do I activate the scooter? No, 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 I want the scooter. Wait, how do I activate that? I really want it. You got my message in the board, but I don't know what this guy needs. Hold up, let me check. Haru wants a spider crab. Do I have that? I don't think I do. Yeah, we definitely don't have any crabs in our inventory right now, so I'm not gonna be able to give it to him, but let's see if he has something in the store. Uh, oh, yes, he does. He has this thing for a thousand. Enhances your sonar to detect fish beneath thick sheets of ice. There we go. Oh, we don't have money. Never mind. I think I'm supposed to wait for some more stuff to sell, and then I'm gonna come back to him to grab that. But in the meantime, uh, let me see how I'm gonna get the scooter, though. I have no clue how to get that. But I'm guessing I gotta get it from here. She's gonna be the one that's gonna give it to me. Um, hold up. Let's see. Shop. I mean, I don't see the scooter, so how am I gonna get it then? Hmm. How do I activate the scooter? Um. Ah, oh, there we go. This is the scooter. How do I activate it though? I really got no clue how I'm going to be able to use it to zip around town. Hold up, let me press on all the buttons, I guess. I cannot run anymore either. Why is my character not running? But I do see the scooters. Oh, no way. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? This is truly epic. I had no idea there's gonna be scooters we're gonna be able to ride in this game. 
this is just so much better because we can now move faster. All right, well, in that case, let me make my way to the shop again and grab me that radar. Oh, this is so good. Can I hug the horn? <laughs> I don't think I can. Hey, buddy. Can I please have that radar now? Because I do have enough money to pay you. Here we go. We got it. Awesome. And now, I think we can actually use this in order to go through the sheets of ice, right? To start fishing and finding some awesome uh, fishies. Now, I know that you can actually fish absolutely everywhere in the world, but I'm pretty sure that once you're trying to fish in those spots where you can actually see those fishies, uh, the chances of grabbing some specific type of fishies is going to be higher. Why is my character not running anymore, though? Oh, that's why. Hmm. I have no idea you can select and deselect this. The sprinting mode, I guess. Alright, let me go with the high grade bait and keep on going. Come on, buddy. So first thing is first, I'm gonna go to the icy area to chat with my friend over there to tell me how to use these radars. And then I'm gonna keep on going to try to unlock all of them around the world. And at the same time, I'm definitely gonna put some traps in the um, frosted skates here. Or at least a little bit deeper in, maybe in the uh, maybe into the open shell. Yeah, like right over here is probably gonna be a best place uh, to put some of these traps for crabs. Low bait, low gray bait, of course, over there. Uh, let me try to catch me some fishes over here as well. We're definitely gonna need to get ourselves even more fishies. Now again, I'm really curious what the deal is with shopping fish. Why am I not grabbing those fishies when I'm shopping them? Why are the fishies not going into my inventory? That's something I have no idea how that works. Maybe the reason maybe we only have to sell the fishes over there, but um why would there be an option to buy them as well then if you're not gonna hold on to them? I absolutely don't know. Not want to scare you guys. Hold up. I want to see what I can catch here. Oh god, this guy's putting up a fight. Hmm, Archerfish. I mean, we definitely already had this one, so I'm not quite sure why he put up a, such a such a fight. Come on, buddy. There we go, another one. Never mind. We're good. In that case, let me keep on going. I'm going through here and put more traps down using low grade bait and another one here. Hopefully, these ones are gonna give me some um, better crabs, I guess. All right. What is this? Now, how do I activate the radar though? The new radar that we just got. How do I activate that thing? I mean, it's this thing, right? Sonar booster. Hmm. I mean, I can select the bait over here if I want to. I can go ahead and go with the jig, I guess, and the poise rods. And just simply fish, but... Hmm. I was really hoping for something else. Whoa, Frost Octopus. I was not expecting to catch this one, tell the truth. Let me try another one. Uh, but again, I really want to understand how to use the radar, but maybe I'm going to start using the sonar. Once I'm going to get all of them? I don't know. Let's just keep on going then. I mean, this icon keeps on popping up whenever we are on thick ice at the bottom there. Uh, so she's not gonna say anything. Kind of busy right now. What about this stuff? Oh, we placed the antenna on it. Okay, one down. Now we gotta take every fish within range of the transmitter. Hmm. So inside the range of this transmitter, apparently, we can detect all the fishes around here, right? I mean, I guess that's how that works. Let 
Let's see if we can use the uh, radar right now down below here. Come on, buddy. I mean, I'm not getting an option to use the radar, so how the heck am I even going to use this? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not getting an option to use the radar. Which is quite weird. Definitely not doing something right. Just a kind of nothing really good. Let me try it again. Hopefully something good is gonna come out of this. Come on, buddy. And we got another cunner. Never mind. We're good. Let's get out of here. Hey puppy. So what if I activate this? Ah, uh, this is showing so many fishies underneath here. I mean, it does kind of work. Huh. Interesting. I mean, there seems to be fishies absolutely everywhere. What the heck? All right, let me put another bait in down, down there. And next up, what I am going to do here, I think I'm going to keep on going to try to find some more of these um, little detectors. And I think I have one right over here. Yeah, let's just go for this one next because this one is the closest. Am I going the right way? Yes, we are. We got to keep on going straight up ahead. Alright, a little bit to the left. Ah, look at the money coming in. Love it. Is it right here? Yes, it is. And we added it. There we go. So if I activate this... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what these razors are doing, to tell the truth. I'm really confused maybe once I'm gonna finish all of them they're gonna probably triangulate something and give me some really crazy information uh, next up let me go to this side to the thermal geysers and check that one out At it. I'm also gonna go ahead and put some more of this bait down here to hopefully get myself more crabs or maybe even uh, clams. I don't know. I would love it if I could catch me some clams down here. This would be so good. Let's see if we can actually catch some clams using the uh, rods. I did have to start making more of that chow. The clam chow. And nope, this is just a blue fin tuna. Let me keep her going this way, I guess. Uh, do I have any more of those traps to put down? I mean, I have one here. Let me use a high grade one. Why not? Let's see how that's gonna go. And maybe a few more here. Oh, never mind. We don't have any more traps. Well, that should be enough for now. So, we gotta go to the top. Uh, you know what? We cannot go to the top, though. Yeah, the waves are just gonna push me back. Which means I may need to go into the dinghy if I want to keep on exploring the top here. Yep, definitely need to go into the dinghy. Alright, buddy. Let's go ahead and do that then. Uh, place you here. Oh, this is not gonna work. Seriously? Come on. You got this. There we go, buddy. Good job. And while we're at it, you know what? Let me try to catch me more fishes over here as well. I keep on scaring them a little bit. 
Is it 5 a.m. at the moment? Or 5 p.m.? I think it's 5 p.m., yeah. Come on. Actually, it is getting very light outside, so I think it is actually 6 a.m. Never mind. It is a brand new day. We've uh, spent quite a lot of time outside investigating these waters. An alligator eel. Come on, buddy. Give me something new. Give me some more of those clams. I really want those clams. But I feel like those clams, I only caught them by using... The blister back boxer. What is that? A new species. Love it. I did not expect that. Uh, so I was just about to say that I think I only caught those giant clams. Um, not using the fisher rods. Ooh, another new species. The Mahi Mahi. That is awesome. I'm guessing that's because it's 7 a.m. We are fishing at 7 a.m. That's probably something that's kind of causing these new fishies. Alright, there's another alligator. And I know that one of you guys told me that you don't really have to fish in these uh, locations where the fishes are... Where the fishes are swimming in. But, uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure you have to. I mean, of course, you can catch some other fishies uh, anywhere you fish. But if you are trying to catch some new species, I think that this is the only way you can do it. I mean, look at this. The Disguising Bar. What? The Disguising Boss? Are you kidding me right now? That one looked really cool. And unfortunately, these fellas have left, which means I'm probably not going to be able to catch any more new species. Never mind. There's one more. Let me try it again. This is really good. We already got ourselves three new species by simply fishing in these spots. And the Barracuda. Alright, in that case, let's see. So we got to go right over here. I got to go to the bottom a little bit. Just like that, and keep on going, and then I'm gonna have to keep a left. Oh god. Alright, while well, we're at it, let me also try to get me these ones. Let's see what it's gonna give me. Again, it's really important that you choose kind of the right rod and lure before you're gonna jump into the uh, dinghy. Because you cannot really change it anymore. And look at that, we got another one of these crazy looking fishies. And I love it that we already got 4,000, almost 4,000 clams to start spending on the town a little bit more. We're going to be very, very soon done with the town. I think I have just uh, three or four more buildings that we got to renovate, and that should be it. That one was a really huge one. I think that was a new record for that uh, type of fish. Well, I don't know why I hear my puppy barking, because he's definitely not with me. Yeah, look at that. My previous best was 216. So that's why the puppy is actually barking. Whenever you are beating your previous uh, high score for catching a fish, the, the puppy is going to start barking. Kind of to try to let you know that you got something really good. Alright, there we go. I think we are completely done then. But I'm going to try it one last time. And another one. All right, we're good. We are done with that. And of course, we are very, very sleepy right now. But I don't want to go to sleep just yet until I'm going to finish this stuff up. Which is going to be straight up ahead. Oh, there we go. It's right here. Awesome. We got it. And now I can easily go to sleep in my own boat. Come on, buddy. Almost there. Oh uh, no! Before I go to before I'm gonna keep on going, I gotta go to sleep for a little bit here. Maybe at least until 3 p.m. Uh, yeah, 3 p.m. is gonna be enough. There we go. Good morning, sunshine. And uh, let's keep on going. Look at that. We are already up to 4,000 clams. Love it. So, our next destination is going to be 
Let me check the map for a second. As I'm gonna keep on going straight up ahead, I do have an island over here that I gotta check. So let's just kind of hug the wall here. I think these are gonna be the final two ones that we gotta unlock. I don't know. Oh, there was one back there as well. Are you kidding me? Hmm. All right, you know what? <laughs> Let me just do this one since I'm so close to it. And I'm gonna do that one the last then. I completely forgot about that one. Should've known. Okay, I think we're about halfway there. Yeah. Once they're all installed, I bet we could track a single fish across the entire bay. I knew it! So, once you get all of them done, that's when you're gonna be able to track the type of fishies that you wanna find. Pretty sure about it. Which is gonna allow me to uh, catch the specific fishies that we're looking for much easier. So, next one is gonna be inside the uh, kinda hidden lake here. Just like that. This is where we first released the well, so I know for sure that we saw one inside here. Yep, we did. There we go. And ultimately, and ultimately, I gotta make my way back inside the shallow areas. Alright, and we're back at the gate. Let me make my way inside. I don't think I'm gonna need the dinghy this time. I think I can actually make with the big boat. So, let me keep on going. Shut up ahead like that. And since we made our way back here, I think I'm gonna keep on trying to fish me more of those uh, giant clams for sure. I definitely, definitely need those things. So, let me go ahead and do it right over here. First of all. There we go. What? Oh, never mind. <laughs> For a second there, I got a little bit confused. I had no idea what that large fish was. But I remembered that I uh, separated them a little bit, and now they are docile. They're not going to attack me or anything. All right, we got that. Come on, just give me a giant clam. Dang it. I'm not grabbing that giant clam for some reason, and I really want it. At least one or two more. All right, we got that. I mean, that's why that clam chow is so expensive if you're uh, managing to sell it, because apparently grabbing these giant clams is not really that easy. You gotta be really lucky to find them. Am I going the right way? Yeah, we are, but I th think... Hold up, let me check the map for a second. I think I could go into the smaller boat, to the truth. Let's do that. And we got it. There we go. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is not the last one. Apparently, there's more? Hmm. Let's check the map again. Where did I miss? Oh, you know what? I think there is going to be one in the icy area all the way to the top there. Because I just don't see any other ones around here. So yeah, I may need to make my way to that side if I want to keep on going. Hmm. Interesting. I had absolutely no idea. Alright, well I guess we gotta go through the ice. We have to do it. There's no easy... There's no way out out of this. All right, well, in that case, while we're at it, let me also look for more clams right here, I guess, and see if I manage to find a few. I really need to get me some of these clams. All right, no clams here. But I feel like in order to find me the clams, I'm not supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be a little bit higher up. Right? Let's see. Yeah, I think if I want to find the um, the clams, I got to go to the shallow steam instead. Kind of pretty sure about it. Oh wait, 
Hopefully these are gonna catch me some clams. I was not expecting them to be ready. <gasps> the sandy claw crab. What? Well, I'm definitely gonna put more then. There we go, buddy. Awesome. So that's how you find these crabs. Let me grab another one. This one's gonna be a spiral barnacle. Not bad. Uh, do we have another one? Yes, but this one is apparently not ready. Hmm. All right, well, in that case, you know what? Let me keep on going through the ice. Let me keep on making my way towards the mission. And I think the ice that I'm supposed to break through is gonna be straight up ahead. Actually, no, I gotta go to the left side a little bit. I wonder if I can stop my boat over there for a second to try to catch me some fishies. I don't even know. It does seem like there are some spots, but I think unless I'm gonna get myself like a uh, podium to dock the boat, I'm not gonna be able to dock there. All right, so these are the broken glaciers. We are gonna have to go to sleep here in just a second because it's gonna be really close to 6 a.m. And then when we wake up in the morning, we are definitely gonna try to go through the ice. All right, more fishies, perfect. Let's keep on going a little bit further. And I think this might be where I gotta keep on going through the ice, right? Yeah, it's right there, straight up ahead. All right, well, in that case, let's go to sleep. Let's reset the day here. Actually, not really reset the day because we're just gonna sleep for about one hour, I guess. Perfect, that's gonna be enough. And uh, hopefully we're gonna have enough energy here to go through the ice. All right, there we go, buddy. Good job. As you guys can see right now, it's still day 49, which means we didn't pass the day. All right, let's do this. Okay, Weaver, any advice? The new icebreaker should cart through, straight through it. Uh, just build some steam and uh, we'll plow straight through. What? There we go, we cleaned up the place. Come on, I'm stuck. Awesome, the Shadow Trench. And you know what? This is a brand new area, which means new species of fishies. Hopefully, let's see what we can catch here. And hopefully we got the correct bait and everything. Come on, little ones, give me something good. Ooh, I mean, that was fast. <laughs> I was expecting something a little bit better. And an Atlantic Blue. Let me try one more. If not, I'm gonna change my bait here. We have to try to catch me some new species. I'm pretty sure about it. Come on. We caught this. Um, the Blue Flint Tuna. I mean, we are catching quite a diverse species of fishies, but nothing out of the ordinary, unfortunately. Yep, another one of these. All right, let me just go ahead and change the bait for a second and see if I can get something better. Uh, let me go with the plug lure, the high grade baits. Probably that's why I was not catching anything. Come on, buddy, give me something good. All right, an Atlantic Marco. Let me try one more time. If not, I'm gonna change the bait again. Or I should say the lure. Come on, buddy. Yeah, another Markle. All right, all right. In that case, we got to change the lure again. So this time, let me go with the Jiggler, I guess. No, don't leave. Come on. Come on, come on. And another tummy tickler. <laughs> All right, that's fine, we get. We're probably gonna search for more later on. For now, um, 
Yeah, let's go for this hole. Why not? Let's see what we got here. Another tummy tickler. Hmm, seriously? Is that all I'm getting with the combo here? Yeah, it seems like this is all I'm getting with this combo. Interesting. Well, in that case, let me go with the Poise Rod and the Spinner Lure. Why not? Let's just try this one. A Bluefin Tuna. Hmm. We definitely changed the species of fishes we're catching, but... Nothing new. And the last time is gonna be... A sock eel. Alright, never mind. Let's keep on going then. Let's just see what we got here. And while we're at it, let me also go for these fishies. Anything new? Nope. Oh my god, that was... 400 kilos? Are you kidding me? Jesus. I mean, I didn't know you can catch large fishies with this. Right, we get Perfect. Let's keep on going. So I'm pretty sure there's going to be another signal all the way up here somewhere, right? Because we are not done with it. The Kraken Cove. And we also have more species of fishies probably over here. Let's just check it out. I mean, are we done with the Kraken? Why did I have to come all the way to this side? I mean, maybe we gotta come here because we still have to clean up the oil spill. The Boxer. Another boxer shrimp. Let me grab one more set. There you go. We got them all. Perfect. And another boxer. All right. That's good. Shrimps are not that bad because we do have quite a bit of stuff that we got to do with it. Olivia was right. We can't follow the ink any further. What was she saying about the secret of the cavern? Only Claude knows, and until we convince him to help, we're completely in the dark. Yeah, literally. He'll come around. In the meantime, we have plenty of other tasks to attend to. Wait, what? No, I want to keep on going. What do you... Oh, there we go. We got it. That's the last one. That's it. That's the last location Marina gave us. Hmm, that's weird. There's still one transmitter left over. Maybe Quebec sent too many? What? Of their expensive research technology? Hmm. Either that or there's an entire area of the bay we haven't discovered. Hmm. Let's get back to Marina. Maybe she can tell us more. Seriously? Is there seriously another area that we haven't discovered? I mean, if I'm going to look at the map. Hold up. Let me try to get out of this spot here. I mean, yeah. We just unlocked this area, right? How do I zoom out? Can I zoom out? No. Hmm, what haven't you unlocked yet, though? I mean, maybe we gotta keep on going this way, because the right side here definitely seems like we're gonna be able to unlock this side. Because that one seems to be kind of locked in. And nothing new on this area either. Hmm. Alright, well, in that case, let me make my way back to Marina. Hopefully she's gonna say more about that. Alright, and we're back. Now, it is a little bit too late outside. I'm probably not going to be able to talk with Marina yet. And I also have to grab all these lobsters out of the ocean. So, let me just put more in as I'm collecting them as well. Alright, let's see. We got one here. There you go, little guy. Definitely going to have to use these ones to make even more sea salads. Those ones are selling for quite a bit. Come on, buddy. Oh, just a bug. That's fine. Let me just spread it on this side instead. Another bug. It's fine. I'm going to definitely need more bait for sure. So that's fine. Oh, look at the lighthouse. I just saw it turning on. Wait, I want to see more. Oh, 
there we go. The lighthouse is actually working. That is so cool. Love it. All right, so we have five, four. Oh my god, there's so many out here. It's crazy. I'm definitely going to have to save some of these traps for the other areas as well. All right, let me grab this one and collect. Place one more. I think I'm just going to stick with two or three more and move them to other locations. So let me grab that. And it does feel like all the rest of them are going to be bugs for some reason. Alright, and place another one here. There we go. Yeah, I know. The final one is going to be all the way back home. Uh, but as I was saying, it is pretty late outside. It's already 10 a.m. So I'm going to go to sleep, reset the day, and then we're definitely going to come back and uh, try to chat with Marina next day. All right, there we go. Rise and shine, everybody. And uh, let's just get back to work. First of all, let me see what I got to cook. So today we are going to have um, hmm, the fish burger. That's going to be plus 23%. But at the same time, unfortunately, I did not find any more giant clams to make this. It's so unfortunate. Um, you know what? Let me make more of these salads because we did get ourselves quite a lot of these crabs, including even more. Oh, we can also use the yellow fin tuna. I had no idea. But I think I'm just going to want to use these things instead. Let me go with just two of them. For these... Uh, for these as well, and that's gonna be it. Perfect. These salads have made a lot, have made me a lot of money, so they're definitely worth it. After this one, I'm going to check and see if I have any other missions uh, to be cooking some other stuff before I start wasting the fishes that we have. Just because those notice board missions are really, really good to do. They're giving us a lot of money. Alright, chop these up. And finally, fry them up. There we go. We're done. Alright. Uh, so, as I was saying, let me check the missions for a second. What do we got? Sunk of the Sea. So this guy needs pile the crabs. Two of them. I don't know if I have that though. And that's the only mission that I have though. Hmm. And other cooking that I can do? Not really, but I think I'm gonna make some burgers to put him in the shop as well, why not? So let's go with six of these, four of these, two of these, and that's already it. Perfect. I don't exactly know how much money we still need to fix up and renovate everything that's left in the town. But I may just have enough. I'm not exactly sure. There you go, buddy. That was close. Almost messed it up and then I there I go messing it up right now. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, it's fine. Fortunately, we're not going to be able to sell this for a really high price because I messed it up a little bit. All right. All oh, this is going to be just two stars. That's fine. Uh, I think that's going to be it. All right. Let's get the shop ready and keep her going. So first thing is first. We got to put some stuff in the shop. There's going to be... Hmm. I also have some lobster rolls. I know for sure somebody needed one, but I'm not sure why I don't have, uh, why I didn't give it to them. Anyway, uh, let me go with five burgers in here and ten salads in here. <laughs> Man, using these screws is so good. I love it. Definitely the best way to traverse the city. All right, let's see if we got anything here. Uh, sizzling fish, two. Cleaner shrimp, I don't know if I have that, but I will check, and grilled oysters. 
And now I'm gonna make my way back home and see what we can cook again. Do -do -do. These missions are gonna be really important because they're gonna give us a lot of money, so we most of have to do them. Watch out! Dang it! Alright, grilled oysters. I think we can actually do that, right? Pretty sure we can. And that one is the final recipe right over here. Grilled oysters. And we need how many? Let's see. Butter crab, sizzling fish too, and one grilled oyster. Okay, okay. In that case, let's go ahead and make one by using... I mean, I can also use the bugs. Oh, you know what? Oh, it's costing a lot to make these. <sighs> Never mind. Let's just use all the bugs then and make a full set of it. Why not? We are, of course, spending some money to get these done, but uh, we are getting a lot of it in return. That's fine. I think we're making like about 100 for each sold. Oh, this one's gonna be the filet one. It's gonna be difficult. Oh! Almost didn't make it. Almost didn't make it again, and... Oh, there we go. I think this is the first time I get it properly. All right, perfect. Seasoning, wash it up. Please, please, please finish these properly. I'd never made these ones three stars, so hopefully we can get it this time. Oh god. And ultimately fry it up. Ah, there we go. Finally we made it three stars. Alright, well with that done, um let's see what else. Oh, I think I know what I gotta do next. I think I gotta do one of these, right? The crab rice. Not 100 percent sure, but I will make at least one because the other one is gonna have to go in the aquarium for sure. So let's just make this one real fast. Wash it up. Here we go. Chop it up. And fry it up. I think where I make it right now, the crab rice is for Claude, right? That's gonna be in the um, lighthouse. Pretty sure about it. I think I only gave him one, so we're definitely gonna have to cook quite a few more until he's gonna be our friend and sign our book. All right, that is done. Perfect, we got that. Uh, what else do we need? So. Grilled oysters, cleaner shrimp actually he wants, so I don't have that. Sizzling fish, we need two, and spotted crab. Sizzling fish, how many sizzling fish we have? Uh, let me just check. So we have one, yeah, we just need to make one more sizzling fish, I guess. And of course we don't have a link. Ah, dang it. I really wish I could go in the store and purchase that one, but I'm pretty sure it's just not working for some reason. The stores are just not working. Wait. Oh, I think I have something for her, right? Oh. What she needs? Um. Oh, you got my notes? That's amazing! Well, I don't know exactly what she needs. Uh, she needs the grilled oysters, and we definitely just cooked that one. Hold up. Let's see. The grilled oysters are right over. Do -do -do. Here, we actually made quite a few of them. Look at that. Grilled oysters. There we go. That mission is done. Perfect. Uh, it is 7 a.m. in the morning. This guy is not out of the... Um, Lighthouse just yet. Uh, let me just try to purchase those fishes that I'm looking for though, but I'm pretty sure they're not selling it to me for some reason. Pretty sure that the shop here is glitched. Oh, uh, do, do, do. Selling. I mean, the thing is, she doesn't have those specific fishes that I'm looking for either. Hmm. Interesting. Let me just try to buy me five of these. 
So we're spending 60. Let's go with four, I guess. What? Let's go with one. So one of them is gonna be 60, right? And if I just buy it, ah, so now it works. So maybe it's glitch when you're trying to buy too many of them, it's not really working. Because if I'm trying to buy one, it is working. Look at that. I get it now. I completely get it now. And yeah, the prices are definitely much different. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we finally spent quite a bit of money on fishies then. All right, let's keep her going. I did not expect that to work. Uh, no more notes. Can I place some more food in here? We have the burgers that we gotta play, so let's go with that. And the sea salads. Two of them in there. I think the rest of it I'm just gonna hold on to because I may just need it. All right, we have a mission for Haru. Let's see what he wanted. Uh, spider crabs that I don't believe I have. Yeah, we definitely don't have any spider crabs, right? I don't remember catching any. I mean, we do have the sandy claw ones, but not the spider ones. So, before I'm gonna do any mistakes here, let me make my way to the aquarium real fast. To try to put every single one of the fishes inside there. And we also have to chat with Marina either way. Come, quick, take a look. This futuristic device is a computer monitor. Hmm, it displays the live data from the transmitters. Whoa, so many dots. Are these our fishies? Yeah, and you see there by the cavern, different creatures pour in but rarely come back out. Like there's, yeah, a freeing ground maybe, a hidden portion of the bay. Exactly, unfortunately the cavern's disrupting the signal. What about our boats? What about your boats? We could use the sonar on the boat and track inside the cave. Santa, you're a genius. Let's see. The sage catfish is the most commonly visiting species. And there's a soul owl by Lonely Rock right now. Get there and follow that school. It should take you through the caverns and hopefully, yep, show us the entrance. Great minds, eh? Good luck. Aha. So apparently I'm supposed to follow those fishies to find my way inside. Alright, there we go. We got even more. And I think these are all the fishies, yeah, that we gotta put inside the aquarium so far. Man, we've uh, added so much to the aquarium, it's absolutely crazy. Yeah. Ah. Now, how many fishies do I still need to find though? Because I feel like we're so close to being done. All right, let's see. So we got two on this page, one here, four, four, one. We still have quite a few though, by the looks of it. And of course, a lot of the pages are complete, but we still have at least one, two or three more fishies um, on most of these pages. Wow, look at this, the crystal squid. The one that we checked out in the previous episode. This uniquely cold water cephalopod was discovered by Claude over a decade ago. Hmm. So we do have somebody here at the clock tower, and I'm guessing that's for the mission. This guy wants the cleaner shrimp. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I do have that. So that's the icicle shrimp. Because we caught quite a lot of shrimps um, on our run here, right? Ice lobster. Cleaner shrimp? Yeah, we got quite a few. Alright, in that case, let me go ahead and uh, give that guy the shrimp that he's requesting for some extra coins. And while we're at it, you know what, hold up. We got enough money to also clean this up. There we go, this path is now complete. Awesome. I wonder how many I still need to clean up. I, I feel like I got them all for some reason, I don't know why. Pretty sure I probably did. Oh no, we got this one as well. Uh, this one is 3,000. Thankfully, we do have that. There we go. Oh, 
this looks so much better. Oh, I think this is kind of a restaurant here, right? Definitely looks like it. Hey, Santin, great to see you. Be safe out there on the waters. Yeah, unfortunately, I still cannot completely chat mm. with her. And finish up the mission for her. Not sure what's up with the mission. The problem is, I'm down to only 100 clams now. So we're not going to be able to do anything anymore unless I'm going to get more. I feel like there's only one more spot that we got to clean up. And that's going to be it. Alright, let's see. Let's give this guy the shrimp. Hey, buddy. I got your shrimp. Yep, this is definitely about the notice board. And the one that you're looking for is this one. I, I don't need that. What do you mean you don't need that? Isn't that your mission? Oh, never mind. Claude is the one that wants the cleaner shrimp. This guy wants the sizzling fish. Mmm. Which, of course, I only have one. I don't have two of them. Uh, sizzling fish. Thanks. Yeah, I think it just got updated until I'm going to give him another one. I'm not going to be able to finish up the mission completely. Well, in that case, let me keep on going. Uh, I want to also find Claude to give him his request. And hopefully end up with that mission as well. And while we're at it, I should check out and see where is the final notice board here that we gotta fix. I think it's back here. Isn't it? Yes, it is. It's this one. But I need a thousand more to fix it. Alright, so that's gonna be Haru. Gonna be the marina. Nothing over here. Let's see. Has Claude exited the lighthouse? I really hope he did. Yep, he definitely did. I think he's on the beach. Actually, right over here. Okay, and he wants the crab. The uh, the shrimp, actually. There we go. Finally, we got that money. And ultimately, let me also give you the crab rice. Oh, is that crab rice? That last ball was incredible. You're welcome, Claude. Now, you were saying about the garden? Yep, built by a community with a common purpose. But then, something strange happened. The garden became so popular and so busy, some accidentally trampled the flower beds. And so, they erected a sign saying, please do not step on the flowers. Then, someone knocked over the ornamental fountain. And so, they built a fence to protect it. Piece by piece, the garden became less welcoming and interest began to wane. And as fewer people visited the new gifts, fewer new flowers bloomed. Eventually, all the flowers and people were gone, and the only person left was the gardener. And that's the end of part two. I'll tell you more tomorrow. <laughs> Dang it. All right, buddy. So the thing is, uh, we still need uh, three more signatures. One is going to be from the mayor. One is going to be from the claw from Claude here. But who else am I supposed to chat with, though, to grab, to bring more food? I'm not really sure. Hmm. Because it does feel like we're gonna need another signature there. There's definitely gonna be another spot for another signature. But I'm not 100% sure who I'm supposed to give more food to. Not to mention, I really want to fix this place up. But again, it doesn't like we can fix this place up at any point. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, well, you know what, guys? I think it's gonna be the end of this episode of Moon Globe Bay, and we will come back in the next one. Apparently, we are gonna have to make our way all the way to this side, to the Lonely Rock, and try to follow some fishies to a cavern. Not quite sure exactly how that's gonna go, but uh, I kind of feel like we're getting very, very close here to the end of the story, as we've already built up quite a bit of this place. Uh, we just need a few more coins to build the last area, and that's gonna be it. And I also believe that the main quests are also coming up to an end. Um, as this seems to be the final ones. Uh, we do have quite a few more secondary objectives objectives here, but this is kind of about it. Nothing else. Alright, that being said, everybody, stay safe out there, and I'll see you all next time soon. Bye!